Welcome back to the channel, Zykor here, and today in Re-Legend, uh, we have another uh, guide, uh, Magnus Taming and Evolution Guide. Today we will be doing Bratus, and checking out his evolutions as well. And we'll check out the skills and see what it takes to evolve him and tame him. So, uh, let me see here. Bratis itself likes the just regular meat. So you just chuck meat at it. So uh, we'll head to the forest because that's where Bratis is. And we'll tame him there. And I think I should have some meat on me. Yes, I do. Okay, so... Let's get to the wood forest island here. Now, as long as I don't get lost. <laughs> Let's see, check the map. I'm at the Erie Woods. I guess it would have been better to surf here. Surf, swim here. I believe Bratis are somewhere in this area, I think. So I'll just head, I guess I should have taken a Magnus with me. Land a shroom. That's where I gotta go. Just head over here. And if you're coming from the entrance uh, by from the, ah, the swimming entrance, that is far over to the right over here at Sunny Lagoon. So you just go down this way to get to Bratis. At least I think so. Maybe I should have checked out where they were before starting. <laughs> Let's see here. I think I found them somewhere over here, was it? Here they are. Okay, so I'll just get out of here because they're aggressive. <laughs> so they are in, I guess, the Misty Swamp. Or is it the Sunken Abyss? Let's see. Yeah, Mystic... Yeah, Misty Swamp. That's what. Yep. That's what it looks like anyway. So, you go in here. Oh, okay. So, that's Misty Swamp down there. Yeah, I think this is Misty Swamp too. It's just a small area. <laughs> wrong button. So, yeah. Okay, so it's Mystic Isle. Sorry, I'm mistaken on that. I guess Misty Swamp and Mystic Isle are really close to each other. <laughs> anyway, so what you do is you come from the Sunny Lagoon down the Baby Bit Lair, the Sunny Shore, and go through this area and into the Tremere Grove, because coming up through this, underneath this log, gets you to the Tremere Grove, and then you come down to the Mystic Isle. And then there's Bratis here, which are aggressive, so you gotta run. <laughs> and so you just take out a meat and chuck one at it. But you gotta throw some of them at it, a couple of them. Not ready to tame yet. Throw another one. There we go. When you see those little hearts, eh, let me on ya. There we go. Now you gotta press the direction of the arrows, the yellow arrows, and there you go, you tame one. Now, let's see what they are here. Skill-wise, looks like they just have a dash headbutt. So, left click is a simple, just regular attack. Now let's see about right click. Right click is a dash headbutt. Yep, that's the dash headbutt. So, pretty simplistic. Let's see what he does for damage. 37 damage. Let's see what the dash headbutt does. 53 damage. Okay. I don't need to beat this, I guess. Well, maybe I should. They actually got a pretty good amount of HP once you tame them. Why did that heal? Okay, I think... I wonder if there's a bug that Magnus are just healing. 
Because <laughs> it seemed to happen to me. Trying to get him down here. There we go. Finally beat it. Wow. Okay, so. Now. You need to get him to level 15. And you need to get his strength 15 or more. As well as his affection of 2. To uh, evolve him into a Bradex. And you also need a juicy roast meat. Which uh, you have to cook. So. Uh, I will get back there. And uh, actually, let's see. I'll get him to level 15. Oh, he is level 21. <laughs> well, I'll get back to the house and I'll teach you how to make the the juicy roast meat. So, see you back back there. Okay, back at the house, and my Bradish should have enough uh, affinity, uh, affection for me. Uh, I can't check right now because there's currently a bug with the barn book and I can't look at the barn book <laughs> So but he should have enough affection um, Now to make the juicy roast meat uh, What you do is you come over here to your cooking station and I believe you need to have your cooking skill leveled up uh, Just a little bit maybe or it yeah just probably a couple levels um, and you can you see the uh, recipe right here now uh, basically it's it's pretty simple as long as you have a juicy roast meat I mean a juicy raw meat in your inventory it will allow you to cook it so you just click cook and it makes a lot of noise <laughs> and gives you a juicy roast meat so fairly simple there we go. That's what it looks like. So you just put that on your bar. Go out here. Now I guess I might have... I don't know if I put his stats in or not. I should check that quick. Uh, he needs 20 strength, I think. Well, huh. Interesting. Let's see here. He is a forest animal. This says he needs greater than 15 strength. But my... But... Hmm. The other thing I'm looking at on the wiki says 20. Hmm. Well, since he's under 20, we'll see which one's right. Okay. 7. Is what I have it on. Okay, so he's at about 19 strength. Let's see if it's over 15. Okay, it's over 15. Not, ju not really 20. I see. And that is a Braddix. So, Braddix's attacks, let's see here. Uh, let's look at the book. Gotta go actually to Braddix. Braddix has Feeding Frenzy and a Dash Headbutt Plus. The Dash Headbutt Plus is, I think, pretty much the same as the uh, Bradis's with the feeding frenzy will heal you and I think it heals surrounding uh, your surrounding Magnus as well so you, if you have one other Magnus with you it'll heal that as well which is pretty convenient um, so we'll just head out here actually I can just take the teleporter and I'll just show you the attacks uh, just head to the woods why not Okay, that is the dash. I was attempting to hit my my rune, but oh well. Okay, regular attack does about 41 damage. And the heal heals about 133 plus 88 or something. It healed two things and I can't quite tell. I think it might have healed me is what I'm thinking. Yeah, it heals me and the Magnus. So that's convenient. Um, now, if you hit Q, it will do the dash. That does about 83. 
Now what happened? Did, what if you hold Q? No, it doesn't. It hits twice. It looks like, but I don't think you have to hold it. You just press it. Yeah, you just press it and it hits. And of course the bug moved. That missed. Huh. Well, it's a little buggy. <laughs> but looks like it uses a, quite a bit of stamina. <laughs> and that, for some reason, still looks like a Bratis. Yeah. Uh, that's weird. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Next. To evolve your Bratix into a... What is it? A Bradorg? I actually don't know the name of it. <laughs> I'll see when I get to him. <laughs> you need 50 strength, level 45, full affection, and a premium roast meat. So, uh, I guess I'll cut here and be back when it's level 45. Okay, I'm back and my Braddock's is level 45. Actually, it's 46, but heh, no matter. And I have, um, let's see here. That's my stats. He has 59 strength. It just needs to be over 50. So that's within the re uh, range that it needs to be. Within? That's over. <laughs> okay, so to evolve it, you just need the... Premium roast meat. And it's affection to full. So, to make the premium roast meat, uh, as far as I know, you need premium raw meat. And the only place I know to get that is the uh, uh, Guardian at the moment. The, um, the Coastal Guardian, which is, what was his name? Draco Claw, I think. No, Dreadclaw. Ah. <laughs> wrong, wrong name. Yes, Dreadclaw. You get it at... Uh, I'm not going to say a rare drop. It might be a little bit rarer than some others, but I don't think it's real rare. So, when you get that, you got to battle him probably a few times. But you can re-battle him just by going back to the same area. And I'm not going to battle him in, the, in this episode. Episode? In this guide. Uh, but... You just take one of the premium raw meat. This is what it looks like. I got. I just happen to have two of them. And you come over here again. Now you have. You do have to raise the level of your cooking skill uh, at least a few levels. I'm not fully sure how many levels it is. I don't quite remember how many. I don't know when I got it. <laughs> but I think the max level cooking skill is like ten, level ten. So. As long as you cook enough, you'll get it. But it just unlocks. So you just do the same thing as you did with the uh, juicy roast meat. Just click on it have, it, have it in your inventory, have the raw meat in your inventory, and click cook, and it will cook. And of course, it's swinging my sword. Okay, that's a some bug they need to get rid of. <laughs> so you got this premium roast meat on you. Just take it, put it on key, and you throw it at him. Yeah, you just throw it at him. <laughs> as long as it loads here. There we go. Okay. Let's see if what he does as a Brad Org. And that is a Brad Org. Why does he look like he's laying down? Or is he like below something? Whoa, he's pretty big. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's see the stats on him. Now, I'll just go back here. Gotta go back here. And Brad Orc. Okay. So, uh, the skills. He's got the same feeding frenzy. Heavy Howl. Hmm, I wonder what that does. And Somersault Horn. Looks, sounds like an attack. I'm going to say this is maybe the E attack, but we'll see. So get on him. Looks like he's 
probably pretty fast. I don't know. Well, we'll teleport into the forest and see what his attacks do. Wait, where did I teleport? I teleported here. That's that's just great. <laughs> let me let me talk to a teleporter. Uh, the just go to the regular woods. Back out here. Back to the bugs. So that's a regular attack. Does 140 damage. Pretty good. That's the regular left click. Right click is the heal. Ooh, hmm, interesting heal. Looks like it's probably a wider area or something. Now, Q. What does that do? Doesn't look like it gives a buff or anything. Let's see if it does an attack. Okay, that's 205 damage. So it's a, that's probably that... Um, uh, what was the name of it? I don't remember. The ring attack, whatever it was. E. Wow, okay, that's got a pretty big range on it. The, the what was it? Spiral horn? The somersault horn? Yeah. So Q is the heavy howl. E is the somersault horn. You press E to get a somersault horn to activate. Because with uh, the Magnus, first it's left click for regular attack. Right click is the secondary attack. Q is the third attack. And E is the fourth attack. So you get four attacks with, the, with each Magnus. Or possibilities. Not, not all Magnus have four. It seems like the higher ranking ones have four or more. So, but E, the E attack on him seems to have a pretty good AOE. And does pretty good damage. Okay, um, and one other thing I should probably cover is what they do on the farm. And actually, I don't think Bradorg does anything. I don't think Bradix, Bradus, Bradex, or Bradorg do anything. So let's see here. Yeah, it's just a regular attack that he does. Right click heal. Uh, Q doesn't really do anything. And E doesn't, just does the regular attack. Yeah. So all he does is attacks. He doesn't do anything for your field. Which is sad. It'd be nice if he did something. Like, I mean, he is a boar. So he should be able to dig. <laughs> so he should be able to hoe stuff. But anyway... That is Bradus and its evolutions. Uh, wrong key. I'm just gonna get off. So, and I think that covers it all. Yeah. So, if you like this guide, hit that like button. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you haven't already, subscribe. And hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload more videos. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.